Jurgen Klopp does not want more players, but the context shows a Liverpool transfer reality. A quote from Jurgen Klopp has been doing the rounds. Shorn of all context, it does not reflect the Germans' true stance on Liverpool's transfer position. Liverpool have had a quiet transfer window. Ibrahima Kanate is perhaps unfairly going under the radar, what with the business having been conducted so early on in the summer. But if he is the only man through the door at Anfield then it will raise some eyebrows. As rivals continue to strengthen, there is an understandable, albeit overblown, fear of getting left behind. As such, Jurgen Klopp's latest comments duly caused a fair degree of alarm in certain portions of the fanbase. Unfortunately, the manager opted to use the phrasing, we do not want more players. Regardless of the context, this was always going to be the headline for outlets reporting on it. There's little point getting annoyed about this industry reality. But it does mean that plenty of people have been left misinformed as to what Klopp actually meant. The reality is far less concerning than the scaremongering. Here is a fuller version of the quote from TV2, via The Athletic. You have to make changes from time to time, but then there must be room to do it. We do not want more players. If something happens somewhere, something can happen somewhere else, but it makes no sense to add more players. It is immediately apparent from this that Klopp was talking numerically. He does not want a larger squad, i.e. one with more players than he currently has at his disposal. This makes perfect sense, if the likes of Jerdan Shachiri and Devokaridi were to stay around. Any further incomings would create some real bloating. Ultimately, only 11 players can start every week, depth is important, but so is maintaining squad harmony. A large squad packed full of unhappy stars might work for some teams, but it is never going to be the way that Klopp wants to run a dressing room. Already, the manager is risking that problem at centre-back. Two of Kanate, Joe Gomez, Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip are going to be disappointed every week. Before even reaching the fringe stars of last season such as Nat Phillips and Reese Williams. Put in these terms, it's little wonder Liverpool passed on a permanent deal for Ozan Kabak. Clark's elite man management should hopefully help keep the situation under control.
and the need for this depth was emphatically highlighted through last season's injuries, but it nevertheless provides an added challenge. As such, even ignoring the financials, there is a case to be made for a one-in, one-out approach as the transfer window nears its conclusion. This, essentially, is what Klopp was saying in his quotes, if something happens somewhere, something can happen somewhere else. This throws some interesting light on the Shachiri deal, with the Swiss maestro supposedly edging closer to a move to Lyon. Liverpool are apparently holding out for just €8 million, Euros, around £6.75 million. Pounds. Agreeing such a cut price fee would be a reflection of where the market is at, but it might also be a sign that the club are eager to free up a space. Nor can the financial realities be ignored forever. FSG can perhaps be criticized for trying to stick rigidly to their model through an unprecedented worldwide crisis. But there should also be some sympathy, the owners took the club to the top of England and Europe with their sustainable model. and would have been in an excellent position to capitalize on this on-pitch success had it not been for, for the pandemic. And the various economic ramifications. In this transfer window, where almost every club is a selling club, There is a strong case that FSG should have deviated from the tried and tested approach. And injected funds so as to make some more shrewd long-term acquisitions. Nonetheless, it is worth acknowledging that the broadly sell-to-buy model, coupled with major investment in analysis and coaching facilities, helped Liverpool reach the summit of the game pre-COVID. All in all, the reality is far less straightforward than simply, we don't want more players. Klopp is wary of the size of his squad, and this matters from both a footballing and financial standpoint, but he has never been averse to adding quality. Depending on the outgoings, we may yet see more business as the transfer window draws to a close.